jumping around. Here's Bob Hoffman, just standing around there. I was just kind of walking up to see if I could get an autograph, I guess. Uh, you know, the York picnic was a big tradition. Every year it was in the fall. That was Mrs. Hoffman. Uh, now we're going to the afternoon events. This is my roommate, Barry Whitcomb. He kind of bombed out of the... Geez, he's bombing out of the warm-ups. He bombed out of the uh, Olympic trials, and so they asked him to just put on a little uh, uh, demonstration. Freddie Sugar Bear Lowe, 165-pound Olympic weightlifter. Look at the legs. You know, just doing squats. Look at the calves. Unbelievable. Whoa. Where do you see the leg bicep when he turns here? All right, Freddie, what are you getting back there? Let's see what's behind those thighs. Great calves. Can't deny that. There you go. There's a little leg bicep for you. Whoa. They just, there's Morris Weisbrot. God. Probably in his 70s. Looking good. Got to admit, that was pretty impressive. Hoffman, rib cage. Yep, still there, Bob. And he just did some lifting, some heavy benches. Bill St. John, that's where Joe Dube sat on the bench. That was the big heavyweight weightlifter, John Grimmick. There I am standing, to give him, standing in line to give him some hints on how to build up his arms. Joe Dube in the crowd now. This is the next day after the Olympic lifting, lifting competition. Uh, I'll point out some of the, the uh, big names. That was Grimmick, the big names that were there. Let me just say it was uh, a mixed, uh, mixed bag of emotions that I had when I was there. Uh, to see all these guys, Johnny Turpak, to see these guys that you read about and read about was wonderful. But, you know, at the hotel that night, George and I are there, and I'm not going to give any names. George wasn't involved. But a lot of the guys running around, they were, you know, eating uh, marijuana-laced brownies. And it was kind of a, uh, it was a shock to me. I thought these guys all lived the... Uh,